Hi folks, today on Midwest Outdoors, we are out on Minnesota's Lake of the Woods. We're guests of Border View Lodge. Today we're fishing with Nick Nelson. It's an absolutely beautiful day here, midwinter. We're gonna have a good time, catch some fish. Why don't you come on with us? He's been down deep. How deep are we fishing, Nick? Uh, we're deep. We're in about 33 feet of water here. Yeah, there's a uh, bit of a ride out this morning. How far out on the lake are we? We're probably fishing a good 16 miles from Pine Island. You know, we've been progressively moving further and further out as we have better ice and maintaining that road. It's yeah. the first one of the day, and that's about a well, average size sauger that we've been seeing here. Yeah. Nice little walleye. There we it go. That is a nice walleye yeah. out there. We were talking about them roads, Nick. You got an excellent system. Now, one of the things people can drive out by themselves, so you can go out anytime you want, or you'd still provide the service of taking people out, don't yep, you? Exactly. We try to make it as easy as possible for sure. the customers. So we usually load them up in the trailers, leave about 7.15, and return about 4 o'clock, and they don't have to worry about driving or anything. Got him all fired up. There you go. Yeah, he bumped it the first time and dropped back down, and then I watched him. That's where the electronics, you guys actually rent electronics too, won't you, at the resort? Yep, you know, electronics will make a, a big difference in your success up here. You oh, know, yeah. We've been seeing a lot of fish up high. Ooh, come and on. You'd have no way of knowing Look at that sauger. Yeah, yeah, you wouldn't have. Okay, I watched him, he come up, touched it, drop. he missed it when I set the hook, watched him drop back down, drop back to him, and Look at that, he actually checked that out. Yeah, he inhaled that one. That VMC spoon is way down in there. They're yeah. looking at Do you have another one? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> we have four and six man houses, so you know, a lot of people, they like a little extra room, so they sure. might only have two or three in a house, but we can accommodate up, up to six people in a house. Yep. How often do you move the day houses? Yeah, we, we try to keep them fresh. You know, the fresher the house, the better. So every two or three days, the houses are getting moved. If fishing's good, we just might bump them over, but if, if not, we'll, we'll go searching for some more fish. You guys got sleepers out here too, don't That's you? That's correct. Yep. yep. The sleepers are pretty popular. We have nine sleepers here, and uh, they're, they're almost always full. Yep. It's How many houses on the ice all together? Uh, 36 day houses and nine sleepers. So it, it keeps the guys pretty busy here moving yeah. every two or three days. Well, we're gonna let that one go. They're definitely set up to take care of you though. Get on down there. Yeah, there go. Just inhaled it. Yeah. You know, Nick, one of the great services you provide for your guests is you actually clean the fish, right? Yep, all the guests, we, uh, we clean all their fish for them. We leave no skin left on them because we have packing licenses and it works out perfect to take them home or take them into the lodge and get them fried up that night. Yeah, the lodge and bar there, that's a great place to gather. They got excellent food, whether it's uh, steak, seafood, you're bringing your catch in, burgers, pizza. You can gather with your buddies at the end of a great day fishing, have a couple cold ones, or enjoy the walleye master ale they have there. Yeah. Oh, sauger. Nice sauger. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you really set up on shore too, you know, no matter how, what size your group is, the riverside cabins, you know, they're right there, perfect for four, six, eight guys stand. The, the suites are really nice, I mean, really modern, perfect for couples or small groups. And then the uh, great cabin and the Grand Lodge are just perfect for the corporate getaway. You guys are really set up to take care of people no matter what size the group is. I'm gonna eat that one. It's fun to catch. Might be on the short oh, side. That's but... all right. Another sauger? Yep, another little sauger, you know. Got that one. Got him there, yeah. huh? Oh, that's great feeling that rod, Ben. You know, that's the thing up here, you know, you, you definitely have fun, and one of the reasons why they're really set up for taking care of people, you know, it doesn't matter if it's putting you on fish on the ice or, you know, Mike and Lisa are back on shore. They're always going the extra mile to provide the customer service and make your trip just fun. The wind picked up and the fish kind of changed their attitude a little bit, so they were refusing, went to a dead stick and nice walleye. That actually had a whole minnow swim and that thing got down there and the bobber set up and took it right away. Let's get this transducer all the way here. Oh, a little bit of gold oh, there. There you go. That's a nice walleye. All right, there we go. There we go. Well, that right there, come off, there is a 
Good way to finish off a Lake of the Woods limit of walleye and saugers. Can be great in the frying pan. Had a great day out here. Tell you what, we haven't been on the ice very long, but we got our limit already. If you want to come on up this way, all you got to do is look up borderviewlodge.com. It's the premier resort on Minnesota's Lake of the Woods. I want to thank Nick Nelson for fishing with us today. I'm Greg Jones, Midwest Outdoors. We'll be right back.